I'm here today at Youth City at the new Exhibition World Center, and I'm really happy to be touring this magnificent display. It is a program that's put up by the Ministry of Youth Affairs every day. This is the first year it's at the new Exhibition World Center. It's a really fabulous uh, facility, and I encourage anyone to come out. The United States Embassy participates in this by bringing some experts out to work with Bahraini youth. And this year, we're really, really happy to have a, an American quilter who is working with Bahraini young people, teaching them how to make uh, quilts. One thing that really impresses me is that the Bahraini government is focused on building skills among young people. And of course, it's a competitive world out there. You have to have skills to enter the labor force. So this youth city is really focused in on that. So one of the things that our quilter Colette Keith is doing is teaching how to produce uh, handicrafts, uh, certain products that might be, uh, that the young people can then go ahead and sell uh, here inside Bahrain, make some money, and they can uh, really improve their entrepreneurship skills. All of these are things that the United States government supports. We really want to see a strong, stable, secure, and prosperous Bahrain. That's why we support this effort. very, very closely with the ministry. We're proud of the many types of things that we do. As I mentioned earlier, this is not the first time we're bringing an American expert to uh, Youth City. But additionally, we do a range of programs. For example, we've brought artists out to Bahrain's community centers, the youth community centers, in order to, for example, to build artistic skills. Uh, this in particular is what they call aerosol art, so in graffiti, and there are some examples of that here around in Youth City. But also we've worked with the, the ministry on, for example, uh, how to make films. There's a documentary program. So it's not just in one area, it's in a broad set of areas. We're trying to respond to what Bahrainis want to develop their skills in, and the United States supports that. very impressive. It covers a number of different areas from uh, arts and crafts to uh, fine arts to food to leadership to uh, physical activity and gyms. Uh, even there is a fabulous radio controlled car racing zone. So there's a lot of fun things going on. I think in the summertime in Bahrain, young people need something to do. I would encourage any Bahraini to get involved in the programs here.
my Lakota name, which is my tribal name, is Nachawashdewi, which is, uh, means good leader woman in my language. And I am an instructor, a college instructor. I teach college English composition and public speaking. Uh, but I do a little, I teach a little bit of quilting, not a lot, but I'm also an artist. So I do a lot of textile arts, quilts, clothes, um, other kinds of textile art. basically uh, basic stitching but it's a process where when you go and you stitch from one side of the fabric to the other it starts to bring any kind of a design into focus and give it definition give it depth and just give it a little bit more 3d dimension I started off the workshop this week basically um, giving kind of a history of American Indian people in general and then specifically about areas that my tribal students have studied in America, the different regions in Indian country, their tribal traditions. So I started that way and then I had the students here um, practice on a piece of practice quilt. They brought quilt uh, fabric from home so that they can learn about upcycling and recycling that fabric and how to build a quilt and how to stitch on that quilt and then I brought a quilt from America a quilt top design and then we put that together and then we've been stitching on that to complete that and hopefully we'll complete it tomorrow. The Youth City has been so amazing and I would like to um, thank uh, the Ministry of Youth and Youth City. Everyone has been so welcoming and kind and the spaces are so lovely here and wonderful and we have the windows so people can come and observe our work as we're working and it just allows for a lot of um, space for the students to spread out and do their work. So it's been a wonderful experience. My experience in Bahrain has been so amazing. The thing that I have learned is that the people of Bahrain are very much like American Indian people, the original Americans in America. Um, they have a lot of the same traditional values, values of generosity, of humility, of gathering, community sharing, of being friendly and kind and welcoming to everyone in the group. So I, I found that there's a lot of similarities between, especially for me as a, an American Indian woman with the Bahraini women has been just so sacred. Mm -hmm.